Paula and Sandy were among those people who sold raffle tickets to raise money for Club X. Paula and Sandy sold a total of 100 of the tickets. How many tickets did Paula sell? So we know that P, the number of tickets that Paula sold, plus S, the number of tickets Sandy sold, equals 100. And we'd like to know what does P equal. So right now we have one equation and two unknowns. Statement number one tells us that Sandy sold as many tickets, two-thirds as many of the tickets as Paula did. So what Sandy sold equals two-thirds of what Paula sold. Well, now what we have is two equations and two unknowns. Two equations would allow us to solve. So this statement by itself is sufficient. This would allow us to solve for the value of P. Statement number two tells us Sandy sold 8% of all the raffle tickets sold at Club X. So Sandy equals 0.8 times X. Well, the trouble is we have no idea at all what the total number of raffle tickets are. We know that Paul and Sandy sold 100 of them. It may be that they sold only 150. It may be that they sold 3,000. We have no idea. And so because we have no idea, then we have no way of calculating S. And if we have no way of calculating S, we have no way of getting P. So statement number two by itself is insufficient. One is sufficient, two is insufficient. Answer choice A.